Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As promised, it is Thursday evening. And, well, we're going to do the special messages reading. Going through all 12 signs of the Zodiac. With a Marseille deck. How, okay, I have two Marseille decks. So, first. I'm going to show you the one that I'm not going to use this evening. I only use this one for a special one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, across the table readings, and here's why. It's written in French. Yes, I speak French. I took French for two years in high school, and um, I think if I added up my genealogy, I'm like roughly half Canadian French, so... Um, there was older people in my family who spoke predominantly French. My grandfather spoke French, understood French, because his parents both spoke and understood French. So, as well as my grandmother was half Canadian French and heard her father speak French and she knew and understood French. So, throughout the years, throughout my life, I learned a little bit of French. So, I can read it. The average American probably can't. So... Unless you can read, speak, or understand a European Latin-based language, you're probably going to have a lot of trouble with this particular deck. Two. A lot of the images, at a first glance, when you're trying to hurry up and do a reading, look the exact same in the upright as it does the reverse. So it takes a trained eye and... A sense of detail to really be able to ascertain if it's upright reverse so long story short later on this spring maybe early summer sometime before fall I'm gonna do a series on how to read the Marseille deck and how to ascertain if a card in the Marseille deck is in the forward or the reverse because if you have the time to, to look at the card it's real easy, but most of us readers here on YouTube, let's face it, we ain't got time for that. So, this bad boy, I love it. It's my favorite. I'm not using it tonight. I'm going to set this over here, out of the way. The Marseille deck in the little red box. Beautiful. Not using it. I, however, and I wish I could find the box for this. I do have a second one. I call this my Americanized Cheater Marseille deck because it is written in English, as you can clearly see. And if you look at the back of the card, there's writing going along the bottom edge. And that's how you tell. You gotta look at the back of the card. Real easy. <laughs> And this particular deck is why a lot of readers don't read in the reverse. They just don't. Don't see the point. And that's okay. But, enough about that. Neither here nor there. But we're going to get things started. Alright. Oh, gosh. Almost forgot. I pulled out the Major Arcana from my absolute favorite deck. This is one I don't even bust out of the box. This is like showpiece only. Okay, Golden Tarot. I love this one. Oh my gosh. This one, no writing at all. None. No writing whatsoever. And this trips people up when they see it because they don't know what card's what. Again, you have to know what image you're looking at to know what's what. Get what I'm saying? It takes a train die. That's why I don't bust with this one out. Barely ever. I think this will be... I've had this one for about a year, maybe. This is like the second time, maybe the third time I've ever used it. I'm terrified I'm going to lose a card and something's going to happen to it. Because that was an expensive deck. Anyway, on to business. Uh, I might as well just go through, the uh, go through the wheel and go in order. Aries, you're going first. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just any additional messages? Mm 
How are we all doing tonight? Are we doing good? Mm -hmm. Universe, Source, and Spirit, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Oh, did you see the new backdrop? Are you digging it? I'm digging it. I like it. It brightened it up in here a little bit, I think. I was informed by a reader, and she shall remain nameless. She knows who she is if she's viewing this, that it was a little busy back behind me, and the lighting was kind of terrible, and there were some objects um, that she didn't quite know what they were. So, <laughs> um, I just, I cleaned up a little bit, and I like it. And as, as you can see, the, the tablecloth is gone, so no more slippy sliding. <laughs> For their areas. Here we go. Ooh. The nine, oh no, yeah, nine of wands. In the upright. Are we feeling like one last push for something? Or possibly your walls are up about something. You know, take it however it resonates. We'll figure it out. All right, I think I'm just going to loose shuffle these and take them as they fall. First five. Queen of Wands. Queen of Batons, Wands, same thing. You wanted to talk. We're going to take you. Page of Wands. Okay. There's a whole lot of Wands on this table right now. Just saying. A little something something maybe. The world, something coming to a completion. Ten of Wands, reversed. Unable to release a burden, wanting to get something off your chest, maybe. And one more. Two of Swords in the upright. Hmm. <clears throat> I just realized the camera's not far enough back. You guys really can't see this. I'm wondering. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is like oodles better. Okay, cool. Forward movement, messages of passion. Getting that fire back, finding one's self-worth. The recent past and the present, things things are closing out, which means new things are starting up. Let's throw a clarifier on that. Thanks. Justice, you want to level the playing field with someone maybe? Possibly a Libra you're dealing with. I have mostly fire, but I got air too. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Unable to release a burden, wanting to get something off your chest. La Papis, the High Priestess in the reverse. <sighs> the 
Perhaps you're feeling a lack of connection with the person you're dealing with, maybe. Not quite sure how to go about getting it off your chest with this Two of Swords over here. Why is the Two of Swords here? Six of Cups reversed. Maybe there's some bad memories involved in this. So you want to level the playing field, but there's a, there's a lot of salt in the sugar here and you just don't know how. You want to get it off your chest, but you just can't. Perhaps it was a fire sign you were dealing with in the past. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Swords, I'm going to take that as reversed. Yeah. Um, you could have a bad attitude about this person. Maybe they have a bad attitude toward you. It was fiery. It was hot. It was passionate. It was awesome. But at the same time, it was cold and it was distant. And Hanged man. Somebody was left emotionally stuck by this. Why is the page of batons here? Oh, we got a twofer. King of Cups reversed. Two of... Yeah, well, duh, it's in the... No, that's in the upright. Oh, yeah, because I can read it. It's in the upright. King of Cups reversed, two of coins reversed, in the upright. Two of coins in the upright. There was an emotional close-off. Like, there was no emotion behind it. There was juggling, weighing of options... Some came to a completion, but you want to level the playing field. Maybe you want to do over. You want to get something off your chest. You don't know how to communicate. All right, let's get your advice. The Ten of Cups in the... Page of Coins in the Reverse. This comes down to, if all is well and good, leave it alone. If all is well and good, don't make a move. Judgment reversed and the five of coins. Trying to resurrect this may just leave you end up ending up out in the cold again. If all is well and good, leave it alone. One more set. Oh, it gave me three. We'll read them all. The Pope, Death Reversed, and the Knight of Wands Reversed. Yes, this was a connection. Yes, it was a blessed union. You're probably soulmates, and soulmate doesn't necessarily mean somebody you dated or you were in love with. It's just someone you hung out with in the 5D. It came down into the 3D. You played it out. It's over. It's done. With this death in the reverse and the Knight of Wands in the reverse, leave it alone. Do not take action. It is not ready to change at this point. Does it mean it never will be? But it's not ready right now. Yeah, if you're ready for one last push, great. If they're not, don't. Don't rock the boat, especially if you're sitting in it. All right, let's get a major on this. <laughs> These are already pretty well for mixed up. But... That one wants to talk. The chariot. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Move forward. If you come back across each other on the path later, cool. If you don't, you weren't meant to. 
move forward, keep your distance. Okay, fabulous. Taurus, you're next. You can tell I barely ever use this deck because these things are like stiff. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Secrets be coming out. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to want to stand up there, are you? You know what? There. There. We'll just have you there. You want to talk? Okay. Temperance in the reverse. Negative energy flow, perhaps some impatience, maybe a Sagittarius you were dealing with, who knows. Four of Wands. Reversed. Kind of like a tower card for me, so... It crumbled, it went crashing down around you, doors slammed. Foundation crumbled. Two of Wands in the upright. You're at the crossroads. You're wondering if you need to move forward on the path and let go of what's behind you or keep hanging on and try to bring the past back. Okay. That was in the upright, right? Yeah, that was in the upright. Okay. See, even I have to look at the back of the card. It's fine. Three of Pentacles reversed. Not coming together. Still no foundation. One more. Five of Swords in the upright. Eventually picking up the pieces after the battle and moving on. Okay, right on. But secrets are coming out. The Queen of Wands and the Empress popped out, by the way. We'll see if they come back out. Negative energy flow, crumbling down around you, letting go or hanging out. Can I get some clarity on the two of wands reversed, please? Or two of wands in the upright? Thanks. Death card. Something changed. Something changed. 
to make you wonder if you need to move forward or hang on. Like changed on a spiritual level. Like the chubby little caterpillar went into the cocoon, came out a butterfly. Or a moth. You know, the only real difference is butterflies are prettier and moths eat your sweaters. That's really the only difference in the analogy. Something changed. And it's the kind of change that is permanent. It's not just a temporary... Say what I gotta say, do what I gotta do to make somebody happy and get my foot back in the door. No, it is change. Why is Three of Pentacles reversed here? It landed in the upright. Three of Wands. So you wait. It's not currently together. You're going to wait. I see you waiting this out. And eventually picking up pieces and moving forward. Why is the Five of Swords here? You want to talk, you guys need to go back in the deck. Judgment. Either you or the other person or the universe making a judgment call on this in order for you to pick the pieces up and move on. There's bad blood here. There was secrets that came out. There was a negative energy flow. The tower crumbled down around you. Why is the four of wands reversed here? You slam the door shut on a connection. What changed? Okay, before we find out why it changed, why'd you slam the door? Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. This could have had to do with a divorce. This... Possibly doing with money, juggling of money, juggling of finances, possibly. Secrets came out. Possibly what people were actually doing with money, if that's your story. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Things went stagnant. Why is the death card here? Thanks. The Ace of Wands. Fiery passion. Possibly a little something, something. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not you. I'm not living your story. I'm not walking in your shoes. I don't know. You know. Alright, what are you going to do? What advice do we have? <laughs> and it's in the upright. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Okay. Bring the house plant back in. It may be time to take this under consideration because it may end up victorious this time around. It may be the return, the grand celebration, the return, the new start in something abundant. Justice and the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Make sure they're coming in on the level. 
And maybe time to let go of some negative emotions. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. If you are good on your own, if you are good being on your own, ascertain whether you want to commit or not. Is their offer genuine and true, or is it just words? You have to love and respect yourself enough to figure that out. Okay, let's get a major on this. <clears throat> this is fun. I like this deck. I think I should use it more often. I don't like doing it like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Judgment. Judgment popped up again. You have to make a judgment call here. It's up to you. Or the... Or the... Uh, if I can make words work right now. Or the universe. You know. You, the universe, the other person. Somebody's got to make a judgment call here. I can't make the choice for you. It's not my journey. You know what you have to do. Gemini, real quick. I shouldn't say real quick because it never goes by quickly, does it? Seven of Swords in the reverse again. Okay. Gemini, their secret's coming out for you too, apparently. Five as they fall. Five as they fall. Special messages for Gemini. We're going to take it. Sun reversed. As they fall, as they fly, you know, same difference around here. I'm not taking, well, how many is there? Nope, not taking them. Go back in the deck, too many. Six of Swords Reversed Reversed oh, Wow, like I couldn't tell that card was upside down or something I need more caffeine Okay. 
You got dropped, you flew out. Magician reversed. Breakdown in a connection, people weren't happy. Judgment card, someone possibly returned to someone's life. Secrets may have come out. Full reverse, there's no trust here. Reversal of judgment, no trust. Another return and manipulation. Gemini. Somebody's pulling the puppet strings. I don't know about this. Why is the sun reversed here? Ace of Cups, you weren't happy. But you still hold that cup for him, don't you? Why is judgment reversed here? Death reversed. Something didn't change. Things didn't change. Feelings didn't change. Nobody evolved. There was a reverse in, reversal in judgment. Why is death reversed here? One. You want to talk. Page of Swords, communication, out of the blue, fast, honesty, truths of matters, maybe that's where the secrets came out. Why is the Fool reversed here for Gemini? Three swords reversed. You don't trust them. You're you're out of that state of heartbreak, though. Or that pain turned into anger and distrust. You don't trust them any farther than you can throw them. But here's that six of swords. Why is the six of swords reversed here? What's up with this return? He gave me two, I'll take them. The King of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. In the reverse. Walls come tumbling down. They come back all vulnerable with this wonderful, glorious offer trying to hand you the world. Why is the Magician reversed here? The star reversed and the eight of wands reversed. I think you're going to realize that they're just pulling puppet strings. And you come to the realization that you haven't healed as much as you thought you did. And you, you're not even acknowledging it. You're taking the offer for what it is. You don't trust them. Disconnects things not changing. All right, let's get your advice. Four of Wands in the upright, Queen of Pentacles reversed. If you open this door, you are going to be as codependent as you were before. They want you to be codependent on them. So be, be very careful what you do with that door.
Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Cups. Sorry. Yeah, the Nine of Cups reversed. Don't fill your cups with negative things. And do not lose yourself. If you open that door and walk through it, that's what they want. You have to love yourself. Don't lose yourself in this again. You got to love yourself. First and foremost. Temperance in the upright. Three of cups reversed. This is going to be a th no. This is going to be a third party situation. You have some positive energy flow going here. Oh, wow, I just realized how chubby I am. You have some positive energy flow going here. You really do. Don't go sucking yourself into a third-party situation. Don't reunite with this and screw your energy up. I, I don't recommend it. I really don't. Okay. I'm going to try really, really hard. To not wrinkle or tear these. These are huge cards. I like that one. Devil card came up. Yeah, this is... This is a toxic connection you need to break away from. This is going to do absolutely nothing but drag you down. You need to beware, Gemini. You need to beware. Okay. Okay. Wow, we're like 37 minutes in. I'm only on Gemini. Oh my God. Glad you guys love listening to me babble, let me tell you. Okay. Cancer? Cancer. Messages for cancer. Hey. Strength and the high priest just popped out. Keep that in mind. Queen of Cups, holding deep emotion for someone. Possibly you're getting a little bit emotional about something or someone. Or a lot of emotional. You are a Cancer, you're prone to that, I'm just saying. Yo, Cancers, you guys got such big hearts. You really do. And they are so easily broken. I'm not ripping on you. I'm just, I'm just stating what I see from observation. Alright, I'm about to pull five if one doesn't fly out. Alright, I'm not getting a flyer. Seven of Cups in the past and a Devil card. You have options. You had options. Could be temptations with this Devil card. Could just be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Take it however resonates. There was definitely something very strong, potentially toxic over here. You possibly may, may be thinking you chose the wrong option. I don't know. But indeed, it was a powerful connection. N we're going to clarity on that. 
Right now the cups are full. You're one cup away from completion. You're one cup away from complete happiness. That's good. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. The words are there. The commitment might, might not be, though. That Knight of Cups, he likes to come strolling in and come strolling out. Still not necessarily the knight you want. Let's get some clarity. Uh, why is the devil card here? Thanks. Eight of Pentacles. Could have been someone you met at work. Maybe you put a lot of work into the connection. But it's powerful and it's binding and it's potentially toxic. One more. I shake this Chromebook way too much with it sitting on the table. Five. Five of Wands. There's confrontation. I think you guys fight a lot. Maybe that's why it's so toxic. But you're happy. You're one cup away. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Coins. She's strong, powerful, and independent, good on her own. Hmm. Why is the Page of Cups here? I have fire energy, I have earth energy, I have water energy. I don't have any air energy yet. Fire, earth, and water. Too many. But the high priest just popped out again. She, she comes back out. Why is the page of cups here? In the upright, the moon. There's smoke and mirrors in his words, or her words. The sex of the card doesn't matter, it's the energy. Some of you may be thinking if it's or wondering if it's just words and there may be possible lies and deception involved skewed perceptions smoke and mirrors why is the knight of cups here nine of pentacles in the upright two of cups reversed Sorry, nine of coins in the upright, two of cups reversed. You're good on your own. I see you not committing to this. Or no longer acknowledging this connection, just kind of breaking off on your own. Because you're loving yourself. There was something toxic about this. And something just not quite right. Yeah, you're happy. But 
why are you happy? Are you happy because of what they have to offer you? Are you happy? Why are you happy? And that's what you have to ask yourself. Page of Swords, sorry, the Ace of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Judgment and the Seven of Wands. King of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords. They're confrontational. I'm hearing don't believe everything you hear. There's dishonesty. You'll know you'll know what to believe and what not to believe. And if they're not being honest, cut the communication off. Judgment and the seven of wands. Make a judgment call and take back control. Don't fight that internal battle. Just make a judgment call. Don't let it be an internal battle. You've been fighting enough. The Seven of Swords. King of Wands reversed. Don't let this go any farther forward until they start being honest. As long as they're lying to you, don't disrespect yourself like that. Put yourself in a connection that's going to be honest and going to be true. Let's pull a major. Wow, I'm like 47 minutes into this. I can, I've can. i actually figured out how to get the clock up on there now. Sorry, this is going to be a long one. If someone could please timestamp this, that'd be great. Just so people don't have to sit here and listen to me ramble for like an hour and a half. Because I know I'm a lot to take in and I know I can get boring and I admit that. But to everyone who sat here the entire time and listened to me ramble, thank you. I appreciate you. You're wonderful. Oh, the Emperor. Yes. Take back control. Be large and in charge of your life. It's your journey. And it's your way or the highway. If somebody isn't going to be honest with you, kick them to the curb. Tell them to take a long walk on a short, short pier in a pond on the other side of the mountain. Tell them to take a walk. You don't need that. Cancer Leo. Leo. Reading for Leo. I'm either going to build or buy a stand for the Chromebook so I don't have to like keep shaking it all over the place. Three of Swords reversed. Coming out of a state of heartbreak or forgetting how much it hurts. See if we get a flyer. If we don't get a flyer, three shuffles through. I'm just going to lay them out.
Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Okay, so there was an upward turn of events. There was a cycle change. Old cycle ending, new cycle beginning. Possibly a little karma getting cleaned up. Five of Swords. Picking up pieces, things happening behind closed doors, shady deals. We'll get a clarifier on it. Ten of Wands, upright or reverse? Upright. Releasing of a burden. Okay. Eight of Wands reversed. Lack of forward movement, lack of communication. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Losing control. What? <sighs> Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It gave me two. Two for Leo, the Emperor, and the Judgment reversed. Upward turn of events, reversal and judgment, possibly in areas you're dealing with. You could be dealing with some Aries type large and in charge energy. Maybe you were the one who was large and in charge. Maybe you're dealing with a tyrant. I don't know. I wasn't there, but there was a reversal in judgment, an upward turn of events. Knight of Coins, possibly an apology and an apology involved. If I can make words work right now. Why is the Five of Swords here? Hanged man. Picking up pieces. Accepting things as they are. Possibly accepting people as they are. I think that the Five of Swords is a card of picking up pieces and accepting things as they are. Maybe you feel a little bit stuck. One more. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Living the dream. Pieces are picked up. Financial stability. Everything is good. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Hereford reversed or the Pope reversed. So, connection possibly a little bit burdensome at this point. Possibly disconnecting. But you're not heartbroken about it.
two of wands in the upright, sun reversed. Someone's letting go, moving forward. Somebody's not happy about it, but the burden has been released. It's a disconnect. Okay. Why is the eight of wands reversed here? No forward movement, no communication. Three of Cups, possible per possible reunion. Could be a third party situation. There's two threes here. A third party situation could even be divine intervention from the universe, but that's not how that works usually. I'm just saying. There might be a reunion or a celebration coming out of this. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? The Five of Cups reversed. You come, you're going to come out of the state of sadness. Laying down weapons. This is cor being cordial. Not being heartbroken, but being cordial. Accepting. You tried again. It didn't work out. You're cordial. You're good. You're cooperative even, possibly. And you're not all up in your sadness about it. That's amazing. All right. Advice. The Empress... In the upright, the Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is a card of family. Okay. I have a sense that you were married. This is possibly, if it's resonating with you, it might not. This might be, it's special messages, right? Might be for somebody special who just happened to stumble across this. Could be. Family is family. That does not change. Fortunately, unfortunately, depending on your situation, I am very blessed to still have my son's dad in my life. Are we together? No. Do we share a house? Are we raising our child together? Yes. Are we a couple? No. Did we try it again? Yeah. Did it work out? No. Does he happen to be a Leo? Yeah. This message might be for him. Anyway, family is family. That does not change. Don't get all up in your sadness and overindulging. Because that connection is always going to be there. It's what you do with it. You have to make it positive. Especially if there's kids involved. Just keep the air, keep the energy light. Keep the air clean. Don't be getting all stupid. Oh, it gave me three, so we're going to take them. Seven of Swords reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Four of Cups reversed. Do not ignore your feelings. It's okay to it's okay to be, have feelings, but don't don't let there be conflict either, and don't let there be secrets. This is something that needs to be be approached with honesty and without conflict. And with, it's okay to feel. It's okay to have emotion. You don't have to ignore those emotions, but don't dwell on them either. Because the universe may have something for you. You don't know. Don't ignore what is being handed to you. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. I gotta think about this for a minute.
going back to it's okay to feel, you still have to have some emotional independence. Try to find balance. This is a very delicate balancing act. Especially when there's kids involved. You have to maintain that balance of your emotions. And don't become dependent on the other person. This is weird, Leo. I don't know who this is for. This might be for my son's dad. I don't know. Might be funny if it resonated with him. It doesn't, it doesn't always work out. It is what it is. All right. What do we got? We have the Emperor again. All right, Leo, I love you. You're special. You're getting another one. The fool. Okay. <clears throat> Maintain control, but don't be overbearing. Get a hold of yourself. Really, it's okay. And the fool, there's new and exciting ventures for you. Don't dwell on this. This didn't work out. Maybe it wasn't supposed to, but there's new and exciting things for you. And that's a bonus. Trust your instincts. Trust your judgment. It's okay. You can't control the actions of other people. The only one you can control is yourself. And how you handle things. And Leo, I love you. you. You're not always the best at dealing with your emotions. I'm just saying, you're pretty fixed and set in your ways. And that can be a, a help or a hindrance, depending on what you do with that energy. Next, Virgo. Six of Wands reversed. Somebody steal your thunder, Virgo? Was it not such a glorious moment? We have two. The Pope reversed. The Empress in the upright. Okay. Both cards of Taurus, ironically enough. Might be a Taurus you're dealing with, Virgo. Disconnect in a blessed union. Somebody you could potentially have a child with. Maybe a child came about. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a minute. Thank you. Five of Swords reversed. Things going on behind closed doors. Unable to pick up pieces. You guys get a bonus card because all three of them wanted to come out. Whatever. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands reversed. Okay. Got nothing left.
taken... Why is the Seven of Wands here? It gave me three. We're going to take them. Three of Cups reversed. Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, that's not taking charge. That's internal struggle. You weren't able to pick up the pieces. There's an internal struggle. You don't know who you're fighting against. You could be fighting against your own thoughts for all we know. Possibility of a love triangle. Evening the score. Not able to end a painful cycle. You can't let it go. You, haven't, you weren't able to pick up the pieces. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Thank you. Can't decide. Two of Pentacles reversed. Non-committal energy. Can't decide what to do. Dropping the balls. Can't figure it out. You're dealing, potentially dealing with someone that is non-committal and they stole your thunder, Virgo. I'm just taking it. Page of Cups, really? The Nine of Wands in the reverse. Walls tumbling down. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Why is the Pope reversed here? Magician reversed. They were manipulative. They never had any intention of anything. They were just trying to pull strings. They're stringing you along. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Queen of Cups reversed, High Priestess reversed. Emotionally closing yourself off, ignoring the connection, potentially a child involved, couldn't pick up the pieces, love triangle, battling with oneself, having it set in your mind, I'm never committing again, it's not happening, I'm done. And just when you let your walls down, Mr. Noncommittal comes back in. Mr. Mrs. Don't just ignore the sex of the card. Oh, honey. They stole your thunder. Either the same dude came back, dude, chick, whatever, came back, or is about to come back, or you're about to repeat the same life cycle. The rerun. The making the same mistake twice.
Six of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Do not let go of how this felt made you feel as you are floating to the other side of the river and, and just pardon me separating yourself from it you need to walk away from this do not let go of how bad this felt don't harbor the bad feelings forever but in this particular instance do not let go of how bad that hurt clearly it did not serve you Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. You need to take the blindfold off and find your self-worth. You're a catch, sweetie. You're a catch. And anyone will be lucky to have you. Don't don't deal with this BS. Don't deal with this. Why are you dealing with this? Why are you dealing with somebody that's just going to string you along? Why are you dealing with somebody that's trying to be a puppet master? Don't do that. Don't do that. You're worth more than that. Take the blindfold off. The Five of Cups and the Sun. Process the emotions. Process whatever you need to process. Don't hold on. Okay, don't hold on to them forever. Hold on to them just long enough to get it processed. And then find your happiness because there's a connection out there waiting for you. There's a beautiful connection out there waiting for you that isn't this garbage. We're going to find you a card. We're going to find you a card. Judgment. Oh, yeah. Make a judgment call. This is about your resurrection. This is about bringing you back from the dead. Not your relationship, you. They tried to steal your thunder. Don't let, don't let anybody do that. Get your thunder back, baby. You get one more. I love you guys. You get one more. The moon. Light up your own path. See through their smoke and mirrors. Make a judgment call on them and be like, you know what? I'm done with you. <laughs> There's a forest behind them trees that you're not showing me. And I would like to see the forest now. Take a walk. Libra, it's your turn. I'm having a lot of fun. This is fun. I should play with this deck more often. What's Libra got to say tonight? Power showed itself, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. All right. <clears throat> the Emperor reversed. Libra, are things a little out of control? You're not alone, but we're not going to get into that. Four wands in the reverse. Something came crashing down. Okay. That happens when things are out of control. Doors slammed. What happened next? House of God, the tarot. 
or sorry, the tower reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Okay. So the tower came crashing down. The door is closed. You tried to rebuild it. So there was a lack of forward movement. Things were out of control. Page of Cups, Queen of Coins. I think that Page of Cups is holding a little cup of self-love right there. And this Queen of Coins is finding your worth, Libra. You are large and in charge. You are independent. You are good. You just don't know it. You'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. Let's see how you're going to get there. I already know. I don't need clarity on these two. It crashed down around you. You tried to rebuild it. Next. Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? Too many. Nine of Wands reversed. Lack of forward movement. You ain't got nothing left. You're done. You're vulnerable. You're weak. Reiterating a re emperor in the reverse. Two of Swords. Decisions got to be made. Walking in the dark. Got to take the blindfold off. Okay. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Is what's coming for Libra. You two wanted to talk. We're going to take you. Ace of cups reversed. Ace of swords reversed. Maybe it's not the cup of self-love. But I think you respect yourself enough to not take the cup. Because you're just kicking that cup over. And you're throwing your sword up and saying no. No. I don't want to do over. I don't want to start over. You kicked my tower over. You stole my Legos. No. I'm taking what's left of my Legos and I'm going home. Leave me alone. Why is the Queen of Coins here? If you're not going to play nice, go away. Wow, too many. I'll take the sun card, though. Yeah. Happiness is coming back. You're going to find yourself worth. You're going to find a new connection that's going to be good for you. It's not going to kick your tower over. Page of Swords. It's in the reverse. You're going to be done with this person. You're cutting off communication. And I, I don't even think you care to hear about them either from other people. Alright, what are you going to do? What's your advice? The Star and the Eight of Swords. You need to heal from this. The last thing you need to do is wrap yourself up in a cage of your own thoughts over this. Because you're worth more than that. You're better than that. So they kicked your tower down. Okay. Okay. Well. If there was nothing there to rebuild, there's nothing there to rebuild. 
if, if they come back with that 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 small little offer and, and it's just words well it's up to you what you do with it if you want to flip them the bird and tell them to take a walk go for it <laughs> go for it it's your journey do what you want just know your self-worth allow yourself to heal King of Coins in the upright, King of Swords in the reverse. Please try to maintain a positive attitude about this situation. I, I know it's very easy to get extremely poopy. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear. You know what I'm trying to say. It's really easy to be a little a little poop face about this. Don't. Don't. You have something bigger and better to offer someone else who deserves it. And you have bigger and better offers coming for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got better things coming for you. One more set. One more set for Libra. Queen of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups in the upright. Do not close yourself off altogether to the idea of a reconciliation or at least being friends again one day. It's okay to go ahead and be the bigger person. Just don't let them play with your Legos anymore. And you all know what I mean by that. Alright. Scorpio. Oh, crap. Hold on. Hold on. I apologize. I have to pull you a major. This is something new I'm just doing just for tonight. Pull a major arcana out of the golden tarot. Because it's beautiful. Towers fall. If the tower fell, rebuild it the way you wanted it built. It's your tower. Do what you want with it. Scorpio. On to Scorpio. For those of you lovely people who are time stamping for me. Tower doesn't have to be a scary card. It really doesn't. Tower is magical and beautiful. The tower is the hand of God and the divine, the universe, whatever you want to call it, itself, intervening in your life. <laughs> that is what the tower is. You can say all day long that it is sudden and abrupt change. Yeah, it can be. But I, I forget which reader, I don't know forget which reader taught me this. You always see the storm cloud coming. Very seldom do you not. Yeah, I, I've personally seen lightning strike on a clue blear, day. clue blear day. I can't talk right now. Clear blue day. Just right out of the clear blue sky. I've seen it. I've heard of it. Does it happen very often? No. You usually see it coming. Most of us just ignore the red flags. Still, towers don't have to be bad. Okay, Scorpio. Ten of Swords in the reverse. The painful cycle hasn't ended, has it? Do you want to get into why the painful cycle hasn't ended? Let's let the cards tell the story. Knight of Coins. Slow moving offer. Okay. Solid, stable, dependable, reliable, slow moving. Possibly might have been an apology. Eight of Cups, someone moved on anyway. Okay. Or you walked away from them after they apologized. Take it over, resonates. Oh, God. 
Oh, it's sideways. I'm going to call it inverted. Rebuilding the tower. The way you want it built. Ace of Pentacles reversed. So house plants still sitting out on the back porch. And a eight of wands. Communication, forward movement. Okay. Why is the ace of pentacles reversed here? You want to talk. King of Cups, emotionally closing yourself off to the idea of ever letting that house plant come back into the yard. Sorry. Come back into the house. It's sitting out on the back porch. Maybe they stole your Legos and kicked your Lego tower over. I don't know. They apologized. You walked away. Rebuilt the tower. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Six of Swords. Upright. <sighs> Forward movement. Moving on. Maybe you sold the freaking house with the house plant still sitting out on the back deck because you were completely emotionally closed off to this. You won't allow the cycle to end because you're not allowing yourself to process the emotions to make that end. You just walked away. Scorpio. You can't do that. Why is the tower reversed here? Five of Swords tried to pick up the pieces. King of Swords reversed, still had a shitty attitude about it. Okay, so you tried to rebuild, but you had a shitty attitude, and I just swore they can't monetize this now, darn it. Um, okay. Well... probably should have checked your attitude a little bit or the other person. I mean, I can't just yell at you. All things can be vice versa. Maybe you're the one who apologized and they walked away anyway. Let's get your advice, Scorpio. Queen of Wands reversed in the sun. Do not get in your own way. Do not impede your own progress. Your happiness is in your hands. Three of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups reversed.
I'm hearing don't wait if you weren't happy. If they didn't fill your cups up the first time around, don't wait for them to return for them to not fill your cups up the second time around. That is impeding your progress. That is not ending a painful cycle, Scorpio. The Magician reversed. And the Seven of Swords. There was secrets. There was deception for some of you, possibly. If there was, you need to... Someone was being manipulative. Secret, if you get another set. Secrets, lies, manipulation. Don't let them pull your strings. Don't let them feed you full of crap. Don't let them do it. Justice and judgment. Until they come back, fair, equal, with the truth, you got to make a judgment call. And don't impede on your own progress. You have to allow your painful cycle to end. It's a beautiful thing sometimes when the universe makes a judgment call, but not always. Oh, you flopped out. You want to talk? We'll let you talk. The moon. The moon again. Lies and deception. There's a forest behind those trees. And you know what I mean by that, Scorpio. You need to see through the lies and the deception. If you want the truth, seek it. Find it. At the very least, process the emotions and allow the painful cycle to end so you can move on to bigger and better things in your life. Don't impede on your own progress. Sagittarius, my brothers and sisters, you guys are next. Oh my gosh, we're an hour and a half into this. Just about done. There's only four signs left. Yeah, I might hit the two-hour mark. Bless you for all of you who hung in this long. Or at the very least, you know, looked at the timestamp and watched for your sign. Thanks for stopping by anyway. You guys are great. King of Pentacles. Wow. That's awesome. That's solid stability. That's large and in charge. That's that's somebody with something to offer. Six of Cups. Possibly someone from your past. Could be an old and dear soulmate. Maybe just took him this time, this long to come around because that King of Pentacles is a slow moving card. Ten of Pentacles reversed, but there was money trouble. Maybe things weren't so rosy, so glorious. King of Wands reversed. There was no forward movement. Maybe some confrontation. Oh, wow, that was a flyer. Emperor reversed. Out of control. Maybe somebody being a little whiny pants about it. The Emperor reversed reminds me of a two year old. Just in its temperament. They're very vulnerable. Kind of screams, I want my mommy. Oh, that last card's a twofer. Queen of Wands reversed in the sun. Okay. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? Ten of Cups.
There was money trouble, but you were happy. Hermit reversed, but somebody had some healing to do. Possibly a Virgo you're dealing with. Somebody couldn't see that. Somebody may have been self-absorbed or self-focused. Had a hard time finding the light in the situation, maybe. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? No forward movement. Ace of Swords reversed. No communication. Confrontation. Possibly just communication cut off after confrontation. And there it is. The Five of Wands. Confrontation. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Seven of Wands. Things are out of control. Someone's desperately fighting for control. And I think finally, at the end of the day, you stopped getting in your own way and happiness came. And now you're over here. Or you're well on your way to getting over here and being solid and stable again. I think you just needed to find the light, Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Cups here? Five of Pentacles reversed, yeah. You finally came in out of the cold with an old soulmate. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed in the sun here? Too many. Way too many. Fine, I'll just take the one on top. Six of Wands. Victory. That's awesome. There's victory coming. There's solidarity. There's stability. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords reversed. Okay. I'm seeing this as you have something to offer. Are you going to offer it to someone who doesn't want to commit? I don't think so. Why would you do that? The High Priestess and the Four of Swords reversed. Hmm. Wow, really? Don't get all frazzled by this. Don't let someone else's egotistical energy get you all frazzled. Don't let this connection get you all frazzled. Nine. Knight of Swords and the Nine of Coins, both reversed. Don't believe everything they tell you. 
for some of you who may be stepping into a situation where someone is trying to present themselves as something that they are not, be careful, be wary. Be wary. Don't believe everything that you're told. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius, that was interesting. Card. Mm. Be wary of potentially toxic and powerful connections. And be aware of things that present themselves as nothing more than a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. I don't need to spell that out for you. Y'all know what a little something something is. Capricorn. Three left to go. Table's getting all jiggly. One more. I'm actually surprised nobody's come back here, to be honest with you. Neon and the domestic partner <laughs> and the boy are all out in the living room chilling out while I'm in here doing this. I think they're playing on the PlayStation. I don't know. Neon brought her PlayStation over. And since our Xbox broke, you know, the guys are like flaking out because they have to have video games. Um, Four of Swords. Finally putting something to rest, possibly Capricorn. You know, I'm just gonna... Someone being manipulative in the past, causing confusion, having to heal, finding the inner light, walking the spiritual path, three of swords reversed, sorry, three of wands reversed. You're not waiting. You are trucking on. You're laying something to rest. In the past, you dealt with someone very manipulative. You dealt with someone that caused confusion in your life. You don't need that. Somewhere along the way, you went down the spiritual journey, did some introspection, found the inner light, worked through it, and you are not waiting. You are moving on, moving forward. Can I get a clarifier on the magician and the seven of cups reversed, please? Okay, I'll take two. King of coins reversed. Three of coins reversed. They were not what they presented themselves to be. It wasn't coming together. It wasn't built on a steady foundation. There was confusion. There was manipulation. You got hosed, Capricorn. You got hosed. And it's, it's okay because you introspected. You figured it out. You're not going to go through that again. You're putting it to rest. You're walking away from it. Yeah, this happened. It's done. It's over. You're moving on, and that's cool. Why is the hermit here? Queen of Cups reversed. You're emotionally closing yourself off from it. Introspection does that sometimes. You've processed what you're going to process. You're done. Why is the Three of Wands reversed and the King of Wands in the upright over here?
Sometimes the energies come slow, sometimes they come fast, guys. Ace of Cups, you're looking for new things. You're not waiting. You're trucking on. Capricorn, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love it. Pulling advice. Additional messages that they need you to know. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Coins reversed. You need to be more patient. I think your impatience... I'm not going to say it's impeding your progress. Your impatience is causing things to grind to a halt. It's okay to wait for things. Good things come to those who wait. You need to remember that. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. One last push for that, that happiness. That Tenth Cup is coming. You got it in you for that, that Tenth Cup. You've, you've processed your emotions. You've healed. You've separated yourself from it emotionally. You're emotionally well. You're emotionally good. You're doing one last push to get that 10th cup, and that 10th cup is coming. You are one cup away, Capricorn. You are one cup away. Two of cups upright. Five of cups reversed. Capricorn, do not look back. Do not look back on those three spilt cups because the two cups that you need to be looking at are right there. That connection's coming. That tenth cup is coming. Don't look back. Turn around. See the two cups of blessings. Lay it to rest. Get a couple of majors on this for you. This is beautiful. I wish all the readings went this quickly. Sometimes they come quick, sometimes they go slow. I'm still feeling this out. You guys might get one of these once a week. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what spring brings. The chariot. Move forward. Pack it up and truck on. Pack it up and truck on. That's amazing. Love it. Aquarius, you're next. The Marseille deck is happy and ready to play tonight. Wow. And my stepbrother just got home. I hear him. Four of Wands reversed. The tower has crumbled. There is no foundation. Is this Ten of Swords upright or reversed? It is upright. Yes. The tower has crumbled. The world card, the star card. Something came to a close. Maybe something new started. You've healed. You are now in a position with this king of coins. You have something wonderful to offer. You're large and in charge. You're abundant. You're, you're probably financially better than you were. You're good. With this ten of swords, your painful cycle has come to an end. And you're back in balance. 
That is amazing. I love it. And if you're not back in balance yet, if this part hasn't happened for you yet, it's coming. It's coming. If you're finally, you're finally going to allow that painful cycle that you were going through when the tower went down to come to an end. The change had to occur. The healing had to happen. The self work had to happen to get you to the position to where, where you are. Balance is coming. Positive energy is coming. Sunshine and rainbows is coming. Bang. Awesome. Possibly an awesome connection is coming. I have Aquarius and Sagittarius on the board. A little bit of air, a little bit of earth, a little bit of fire. That's awesome. I like it. Let's get you some advice. Why couldn't they all come this easy? The lovers and the wheel of fortune. I love it. Aquarius, there's a connection coming for you. Possibly with soulmate. Could be karmic with the Wheel of Fortune. But there's something coming for you. There's definitely a cycle change in your future. But you got to come out of that state of sadness first. This is another change. Something had to give way to make room for this. And that is awesome. Oh, full reverse to be wary. 24689. Reversed. Be wary. Because this potentially being karmic, there could be a mix of karma in this. If it seems too good to be true, don't trust it. Because that's a pretty good possibility. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. <sighs> Don't stop processing the emotion just because you think you're okay. Y you have to complete this. It's like when you stop taking your antibiotics just because you, you feel better. You have to let it run its course. You have to let those emotions run their course. So if you are still in the process of walking and you're not quite ready... For the connection, don't do it. Because you have to continue the walk. Okay? Let the dust settle completely before you rebuild the tower. There you go. Why couldn't they all go this quickly? Oh, i got to put a major down. I'm not used to this part yet, guys. I'm sorry. Kick me in the butt. Kick me in the butt. Wheel of Fortune. Love how that works. Upward turn of events. Karma is coming. Karma is coming. We know what karma is, right? And that's not bad things happening to people who do bad things. That's not what karma is. Karma is all those little deals we made up in the 5D before we came down here. That's what karma is. Something is about to play out that you agreed to. Whether you like it or not. Soulmates are coming in. Alright, Pisces. You're the last reading of the night, and then Mama Sag is going to bed. Actually, I have to take Neon home. Then I'm coming home and going to bed. But here we go. One last shuffle of the cards. Six of Wands, Victory Dance, possibly a return. We'll see what plays out. Hmm. 
The Lovers. The Ten of Cups. Hermit Reversed. Emperor Reversed. Six of Pentacles. Mm. <laughs> Why is the Hermit Reversed here? Three of Pentacles in the upright. Introspection. And one more on that. Of course, the last reading of the night has to be the most confusing, doesn't it? Temperance. Okay. It's coming together. It's leveling out. You're learning patience with yourself. You possibly were in a state of isolation for a while. Can I get a clarifier on the lovers and the Ten of Cups, please? Because everything was going good. What happened? Hmm. The connection was there. All of a sudden it wasn't. Wow. Connection lost. That's sad. Can I get a clarifier on the Emperor reversed in the Six of Pentacles, please? Allowing oneself to be vulnerable. Allowing energies to even out. Not moving forward. And staying steady. One more. Come back around. Victory dance. It's not over. Pisces, it's not over. You have a failed connection here. You isolated for a while. Rebuilt the foundation. Allowed the energies to clear. Admitted a vulnerability. Possibly presented an equal give and take offer. And now you're just chilling, waiting, nothing's moving. But the comeback around's coming. What are you going to do? Victory dance is coming. Judgment in the Seven of Wands. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. And don't get too cocky. And don't get confrontational. Because the universe is about to make a judgment call that you have no control over. It doesn't matter how bad you want it. The universe is going to do what it wills. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups reversed. Communicate honestly and don't shut your feelings off. Again, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. If it, there's no new start, there's no new start. But at least you'll have the truth. You gotta let this play out how it's supposed to play out. Nine of Wands and the Magician.
it's okay to let those walls down and it's okay to try to manifest what you want you can manifest anything you want you have the tools you have to have positive energy going into this because the universe is listening Justice and the Queen of Wands reversed. The playing field's going to even out. Energies are going to even out. Be fair. Don't be confrontational. And sometimes a victory dance. It's not always getting what you want. But it's getting what you need. And it's getting what you have due. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? All right, Pisces, you get a major, and then I'm calling it a night. Two solid hours, I'm pretty whipped. I'm not as young as I used to be. Change. The death card. Death. Resurrection and rebirth. The chubby little caterpillar going into the cocoon, coming out of butterfly. Things change every day, Pisces. Change is good. Change is necessary. Change brings victory and metamorphosis and all those wonderful things. Change is what you want. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. I appreciate everyone who stuck it out to the end and didn't even watch your sign i mean you know or if you went to bed already that's fine too but know that you're loved be blessed i will catch you guys tomorrow for the weekend top and bottom and the second half of may will be read next week and take care also i am going to be available for personal readings starting monday it is okay to go ahead and book in advance though that's fine um you will come in the order in which I book. So, I got one in the pipe right now for next week. I'd like a few more. That'd be nice. You know, I'm not going to twist your arm. Do what you will. Good night. God bless. Talk soon. Wow, really? Okay, really? Oh my gosh. Why is this darn thing?